Radiation and chemotherapy remain some of the only treatment options for those suffering from various forms of cancers. But their side effects can be violent to the body it's trying to cure. From pain, nausea, hair and weight loss to skin and nail problems. We work on development of uh, next generation nanomedicines for cancer. So for example, the problem with the current uh, therapeutics is that like, you know, when we are having these therapies, like, you know, it is uh, causing side effects. So with, we are developing a different types of drug delivery vehicles that can able to deliver the drugs very efficiently. So we could able to reduce the drug concentration. And with that, we could able to reduce the side effects of the cancer. Trials on animals have shown good results and they are now ready for the next step. What we have developed is that something which is more colloidally stable and it can be stored in room temperature. And we have tested them in the cells. It's giving good results and we are testing them in the animals now. So the next thing is to test them in the human trials. It will take two to three years, not two to five years, I would say. And, but like, and it is a long process, but we are uh, uh, catching there. Meanwhile, a South African scientist is in the early stages of developing an app to curb the country's high mortality rate. In 2022, South Africa experienced 30 deaths per thousand live births. So that app will provide a step-to-step -step guide to say, if you find a woman that is bleeding, you know, what are the things that, how can you early identify the woman early that she's going into postpartum hemorrhage? And then these are the steps that you take. So it sort of like reminds them of the different um, interventions that needs to be conducted in order to manage that emergency. So my hope is that the app will have all the different emergencies, you know, your preeclampsia, your eclampsia, shoulder dystocia, and it gives them the different steps, you know, it, it will be something that will, they will be having at hand um, so that if they meet an emergency, then they can also use it as a reference as to what are the steps that they need to take in order to manage that emergency. The app is still in its early stage and needs funding. It will take at least a few years before it becomes available. Ulrich Hendricks, SBC News, Kimberley, Northern Cape.